everyone, I just want to welcome you back to the channel. Today what we're doing is I just picked up a new 17 inch Blackstone griddle and I'm going to show you how we get started by seasoning this cooktop. So you can see it's a very raw cooktop here, uh, you know, it, it's just straight from the factory. I went ahead, I already hit it with some dish soap and water to clean it all up, which is going to be one of the few times that you actually use soap and water on your griddle. Um, but what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how I go ahead and I get that seasoned top so that it makes that nice non-stick surface. And as always, if you find it useful, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. So let's go ahead and let's get started. we got to get this thing lit. All right, so to get this thing started, I'm just going to turn the gas on. And I went ahead, I picked up on this one, I picked up one of the, uh, the large tank uh, hoses that, that hook into this. So I can still run the optional smaller tank, but then I also have the option to run my larger tank. So it's going to have a lot of air in the line when I get started, and this one's a quick start. There it goes. And so you just got to run it out and then just keep clicking it until it works. So now that I got it lit. put that on there and you kind of want to do it quickly because it starts to heat up rather fast. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let that reach operating temperature and then I will start my seasoning process. All right, so what I'm using here is this is just uh, just plain vegetable oil, uh, canola oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, uh, you name it, just whatever your vegetable oil is. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spread some out here in the middle. And then I'm gonna spread this out with a rag, making sure that I cover the surface evenly, but I don't want a lot of oil. I just want it to, to coat the surface with a nice thin layer. And I'm gonna hit every single corner and all the edges. If it feels like you need a little more, add a little more. You can do this with paper towels. I'm using a rag. It's because I have a set of rags that I use for my barbecues and things. So it is clean, so don't worry about that. All right, so I got a nice shiny surface now. I've got all the corners, get all the edges. And you can see it's a very, uh, it's not porous, but it does have a lot of little pits and valleys and things in it just from the uh, the manufacturing process and so what this is going to do is this is going to fill those in with that oil and then as it heats up that oil is going to burn and it's going to create like a carbon layer that fills in those little those little surfaces those little pits and so what that does is that's going to make eventually after we do this a few times it will make a very nice uh flat smooth black surface and that's the seasoning that everybody's always talking about. So what I'm doing now is I have all that oil on there and I am actually waiting for it to smoke, uh, smoke off. So once it stops smoking, then that part of the process is done. And then, you know, you rinse and repeat. I'm just gonna add some more oil back to it and just keep repeating the process over and over until I get a nice, uh, even dark layer across the top. And you can see I'm starting to darken here, you know, where the, the burner hits the backside. You can't really see the smoke, but it is starting to smoke off of there. And so once that stops smoking, then I'll add my oil and I'll do it again. All right, so I've done this now. This is uh, three times that I've done this. So I'm gonna do this probably two more times and then I'm gonna uh, give it the ultimate test and we're gonna see if it'll cook an egg. But you can see I'm really starting to darken everything up and it's really starting to look good. And this is something you need to remember that this isn't something that's just gonna happen right now to where, oh, I'm done seasoning it. This is something that's gonna happen that the more you cook on it, the better it's going to get. Okay, you just gotta make sure that you take care of it and keep it oiled and then your seasoning is just gonna build up over time. And eventually you're gonna have like a perfect non-stick surface. Uh, 
I don't want to tell you it's gonna be like those Teflons or things you see on TV, but it is gonna be, uh, you know, pretty slick. So this is my fourth time. I'm gonna let that burn off one more time. I'll do it for a fifth time. All right, so that was a fifth time. You can see I've got a pretty even, uh, evenly black surface there. Uh, it's nice and dark. I'm even starting to get into the corners and things, which is what I really care about. Uh, because that's going to be my area of the most difficult cleaning. Uh, so as I start to fill that out, that probably won't happen until I cook on this a little bit more. But I am going to let this smoke burn off, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to see if we can fry an egg on it. All right, so in case you're wondering, uh, this is a pretty sweet accessory kit that I got from Blackstone. And um, I think it was like $18 or something. Give the two long spatulas here, a little scraper, right, and then two bottles. I've got one for water, which is what I'll use for cleanup, you know, um, after everything, you just squirt on some hot water and wipe it down. And then this is my oil bottle here. So very convenient, uh, nice little accessory that they have available. All right, so we're gonna give her the old try here. All right, let right up. So just a little bit of oil now. I did let things cool down just a little bit. I am unbalanced, so we'll see if my eggs stay in one spot. All right, some trick is when you are unbalanced, you get one to stick and then you put the other one on top of it. All right. So, I'll uh, just do that. All right. I can scoop this around however, however I want. Okay. And there you have it. I'd say that's pretty successful. Turn this off. All right. All right, so there it is, the new Blackstone 17-inch uh, griddle. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and found that useful if you needed help seasoning your, your new griddle. So if you did, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't done so yet or you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.